Hello. No. Yeah. Non-player characters is what they're called. So, today, we will review each Terraria player as they are in the game. Just with short notice. I won't be going over explicit detail. Let's just go in order of how all of these are listed out. So, let's do this. Let's start. So, the angler's a little bitch. No one likes him. Although, he does give some good loot, but eh, I can just kind of do that without him anyways. So, um, ha I hate to say it, man, but uh, you gotta go down an F because you're a little shit. And no one likes you. And you're short because you're a kid and kids are annoying so um that that just puts it lightly the arms dealer very helpful has bullets because you can't craft bullets so you always got to go to him because he's got some black market going on that restricts you from you know seeking bullets somewhere else so i guess he'll, he'll go and like b because there's the shark, mini shark, yada yada, and uh, yeah. dogs, S, because dogs are better than cats, I guess. That rhymed, yes. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. She has a really big bust, and she's a furry, it seems. Terraria acknowledges that there are a bunch of furries that exist. I mean, some of the items are fine. That I mean, that's how you get the pets to begin with, and the pets, pets, pets are S tier. And this little, you know, the thing right here, the, okay, she's got a big bust, okay, and I like that, but other than that, she's kind of weird, although she does turn into a werewolf uh, on the on the blood moon, so that's a plus, I guess, and can prevent you from killing pets if you get her book that has no discount. I would say, eh, 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 C, C, let's give her a C. Bunnies, uh, A, because they're cute. They have a short lifespan, though. Clothier. Clothier, my man. You were trapped in a dungeon for a long time of your life. You became so old and wrinkly and just decrepit that I have to give you an A tier. Because I like your clothes and that the fact that you can dress into your original avatar, because my avatar was Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, I appreciate that while still being pretty much OP like a god. Alright, the cyborg, well, let's see here, the cyborg. The cyborg. You know, I'm not embarrassed to admit this, but I have to look up what some of them do because I don't remember every single thing that all these NPCs do. So. I guess sometimes you have to, if you're going to make fun of me for it, just remember you've been there yourself. All right. Said and done. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. So he sells rockets, lots of rockets. I'm surprised he's not the president because, you know, they, they send lots of rockets to different countries and good weaponsmith, I'd say, but not the most memorable NPC, although I do like robots, but that would be biased. So I guess I'm going to put you, me boy, in a C. All right, the demolitionist. Well, I do like the demolitionist because it really spares a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Just buying the shit when you're rich versus buying it when when I you don't have anything else to do. Except go in the dungeon and get yourself killed. So I would say A tier. High A tier. Okay, Dryad looks like she's wearing a bikini, so um, uh, I, I gotta give props to that. Super useful when it comes to planting things and definitely helps when it comes to like informational shit. Although she kind of gives me lesbian vibes, so... Eh, I don't know. I would say that overall, the grass seeds are good. The corrupt seeds are, you know, cool, I guess. You got purification powder. I don't know where that powder's been and whatnot, but I would say... I would say... Eh. 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 B tier. B tier. Yeah, I did it. I, I put her in B tier. Fuck you guys. Okay, the die trader. So this guy is purely aesthetic, but honestly, it's one of the aesthetics that's warranted. You really gotta prove yourself to the world with your 
sexy avatar that you create. So this guy is like the wingman for that and I would definitely most appreciate when he bribes you by you giving him his weird plants and whatever, whatever he, drugs he does with that. I gotta put him in a solid A tier. The Goblin Tinkerer. Yeah, the Goblin Tinkerer. Th this guy's good. I just like him. He seems like a smart guy. I mean, he's got that lab coat going on. He seems to be well in his mood, of course. And obviously reconfiguring your weapons even though they get more and more expensive each time that kind of sucks but besides that i would say having a craft station where there's so much stuff that you can't get and you can get rocket boots which is one of the first flying weapons that i got and the, 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 the it's amazing although the ruler is kind of useless so uh i mean a tier i guess even though i said a pretty large negative which is not that large. My man, my manny man. Uh, actually, I'm going to put him above here. The golfer. The golfer is, looks like he's British, but, you know. Uh, 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 mm. Do you like to play virtual golf? Well, Terraria does a good job. I mean, it is 2D, so. But the fact that they got that whole system? Eh. Eh. I mean, it, it, it's cool and all, but I don't really remember the last time I played golf in this game. So I guess I'll put him in a B tier. The guide... Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna make me think hard, aren't you? Okay, the guide is an insufferable know-it-all, as we all know at this point, but doesn't actually really know anything, ironically. I would say to that, he is... C tier. I'm sorry, buddy, but... You, you gotta you gotta prove yourself wor worthy okay um the i'd say the npc i'd probably bang is the mechanic i mean i i love electronics that's like my whole whole thing i mean th that's what i do for like a hobby so i'm probably biased but i would say wires are probably some of the most interesting mechanics that you could even use in this entire game that i would say that i gotta put you and an A tier. No, no. Um, S tier. Oh, the merchant. Not at all inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. Look it up. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I like this guy. He's got some good stuff. He's like the cheapskate. He's like the slimy car salesman that's redeemed himself. His his the the sun is high. His prices are not. He gets straight to the point with all of his items. He's got a piggy bank. He's got a safe. He's got a mining helmet, which I loved using. He's got copper pickaxe, I guess, which, I mean, if, hey, if that, if you want a second copper pickaxe for whatever reason, I mean, sure. And other things, too. So, I would say that this guy's a solid B tier, although I, I okay, yeah, that's what I thought. You stay right there. Oh, the nurse. The hot section nurse. A tier. Yeah, you guys facing each other, I see that. Can't resist, you can't resist all the, wait, isn't the demolitionist gay? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, homeless guy. I mean, since he's the exact same guy, I mean, I guess right here, he doesn't really do that much stuff. Uh, the painter, eh, I don't know why. This guy kind of gives me douchebag vibes. I mean, he's got that, like, shaved chrome dome going on. He he's like Mario. If Mario joined the military and he's, like, in the Navy or something. But I would say cosmetic-wise, he's, like, the best one, even though he's a, uh, you know douchebag okay i'm just gonna put him in like right here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well pirate wh what do we have to say for yourself uh you have one of the most infuriating boss fights in early hard mode not really a boss fight well i guess the uh, ships are but i you can pass you, you i mean you can pass for that but c tier because i like the cannon but other than that i'm just like yeah okay i will say to be honest i've never ever gotten the princess so i can't really i can't really comment on the princess because i i am not great at this game i actually suck balls at terraria so i don't know what to say also another thing i noticed huge huge moment what, what where are half the npcs what why are half the npcs uh, never mind never mind this is crazy okay i i uh, to what I've seen, I guess, like, B tier, because cool stuff. Santa, I would give you an A tier if it was your time. 
but you're kind of not prevalent so for for 11 out of 12 months of the year so i gotta give you a d cat uh i like dogs more than cats sorry b uh you what you know what this guy is like a vending machine that you just come across in a hallway i mean he is useful as shit and he's got some serious shit yo-yos shit isn't good not shit isn't they're shitty so i would say b tier steampunker kind of hot I would say she sells a lot of cool stuff, kind of like the mechanic, technological advance. I mean, she is called the steampunk, so you gotta give her that, and I would gotta give her, uh, well, she's in hard mode, so it's not like you actually get to uh, half the game, she's not there, but I would say a lot of this stuff, and super helpful with the green solution, helping you fix your world, thank god. You know what? Uh, I'll give you a good B tier right behind the merchant. The tavern keep. Okay, the fact that there's beer in this game is already a plus because this game is not for children. I've I've already I've already stated that. Uh, uh th this game is not for young people, so I I'm going to say C tier because there's a cool little crossover invasion, but that's about it, and I never played it, so. Tax Collector, aka Scrooge, it's, it's literally Scrooge. I mean, look at him. Look at that, like, freaking exotic sideburn he's got going on. Well, okay, let's just say the Tax Collector is, I mean, I, I mean, D, I guess, because there's not, you can't really do much with him. Okay, this guy is like the merchant. If the merchant was way overpriced, and was for rich people, which I am not. Um, and he sells all sorts of things from all over the world. I, I gotta admit, a lot of his things are cool. Uh, I, I really like your katana, man. I don't know how you went to Japan, but he, I, I guess he did. And so, you know, he got, he got things figured out. He's got things figured out, yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna put him, like, low B tier. Oh, the truffle's even more of a douchebag than uh, the painter. I mean, he, he's really proving himself at this point that how much of a poopy bag he is. So, I guess... I, and it's so freaking miserably hard to get this NPC for no reason. The, like, bro, the, the, there's, there's no reason. There is no reason why. So, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but you take way too much time to spawn. I've tried spawning you and you wouldn't move in. You're kind of a douchebag. Uh, the ore that you get doesn't even, like, work. Or actually, there's better stuff besides it. Uh, other ranged weapons. So you're getting a D tier, man. God. Okay, Witch Doctor. I will say I, I've had the Witch Doctor, but I don't really use the Witch Doctor that much. I've reviewed two... I, I've, I've reviewed two episodes of The Jungle, reaching about almost 40 minutes of talking about that biome. Being in it in multiple of my Let's Plays, and I'm surprised I don't know more about him, but he's a magic user, you know? If you like magic, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, I, I gotta say C tier. Oh, the wizard. The wizard, another magic guy. But, but, Mr. Wizard, man, the freaking Gandalf the Purple right here. Interesting items for the most part, but I wouldn't say that if you don't know what you're doing, I think... I, I think it can be kind of hard to know what this does, although he does sell the crystal ball, which definitely is helpful when you can gain increased magic. Hopefully that's what it do. I'm, I'm so glad I can't tell the future. That would suck. So I'm going to give him a B tier. Okay, the party girl was not even mentioned. Uh, so let's talk about the party girl, I guess, uh, because, um, I mean, I literally have nothing. No, the party girl and the stylist. So let's let's add these fuckers. Uh, where are you guys? I'm on the wiki right now while looking at this. Oh boy. Uh, choose file. Uh, oh, party girl. All right. Uh, wh why does she look like an OnlyFans model? I mean, she does, and I feel like they're like strongly referencing OnlyFans, like Belle Delphi and that kind of stuff. Uh, show all files. Stylists. There we go. There we go. All right. Stylists, you can make your hair different, but it's like you should. Well, I mean that's not true. There is some styles that you can't get in the default, so I guess I, I gotta put her like a a good. She, you know, she's she's in that category of like cosmetics. 
Uh, but I would say she's the weakest of the three cosmetic ones, um, just because there's not as much variety with her. But I would still say she's pretty cool, so I'll put her right above the princess. The party girl, eh, another aesthetic NPC. I mean, so many of these NPCs just sell shit that's like, doesn't entirely progress the game but you know if you want to throw a party for all your npcs and you know hire an only fans model to not strip for you because it's a pg-13 game i would say that yeah uh this is this is a cool npc sells all sorts of wacky sh stuff stuffy stuff so and you can craft furniture uh apparently out of uh stuff like balloons which is weird as heck i mean hey man i'm not judging but i feel like that's a fetish i don't know i i balloon fetish order so i'm gonna put her at like c tier i guess all right i'm gonna save this i'm gonna download it yeah just so i can keep this beautiful memory that's good das ist gut well that is it i don't know why i'm i'm saying things so dramatically but that's all for my video folks i got a discord server so make sure to join that also i got this uh nice human head model right here i used for my human video do you guys you guys like that yeah you like that you you, you know what he's saying to you he's saying subscribe <laughs> Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that if you haven't done it yet. Uh, I would also say check out my other videos. Uh, I, I, I got almost 350 videos. Okay, that's a lot. All right, besides that, everyone have a good rest of their day. And see you all in the next video. See ya.